Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're told that in the given pair of equations, a and b are constants. The graph for this pair of equations in the xy plane is a pair of perpendicular lines. And we're asked which of the following pairs of equations also represent a pair of perpendicular lines. So, for lines to be perpendicular, their slopes are opposite reciprocals of each other. So before we continue, let's find the slopes of these functions. So we want to get it into slope-intercept form. y is equal to mx plus b, where m is the slope. So for 5x plus 7y equals 1, we want to get y on its own equal to a bunch of stuff, and that will give us our slope. So we subtract 5x from both sides. These cancel, and we're left with 7y is equal to negative 5x plus 1. Now we just divide both sides by 7. This gets us y on its own, because these 7s cancel. We get y is equal to negative 5 over 7, x minus 1 over 7. For this equation, we're not going to be able to get an exact number, but we'll see why this is helpful in a second. We have ax plus by equals 1. Again, we want to get y on its own, so let's subtract ax from both sides. These cancel. We're left with by is equal to negative ax plus 1. Dividing by b on both sides, these cancel. y is equal to negative a over b, x plus 1 over b. Now, this equation and this equation are perpendicular to each other when graphed. That means that these are opposite reciprocals of each other. So, what is the opposite reciprocal of negative a over b? Well, what you do is you multiply it by negative 1, which gives us positive a over b, and then you flip it, b over a. We therefore know that the opposite reciprocal of this, b over a, is equal to negative 5 over 7. Now we can use that information to find which of these is also a pair of perpendicular lines. So let's start with a. In all of these, we have a equation with normal coefficients, and we have coefficients with a and b. So what we're going to do is we are going to find the slope of this line, and then compare it to the slope of this line learning using what we've already learned. So for a, 10x plus 7y is equal to 1. Doing a similar thing as we've done before, not going to go through every step. We're just going to find the slope of the line by getting it into slope-intercept form. y is equal to negative 10 over 7x plus 1 over 7. Okay, so therefore the slope of this line is negative 10 over 7. What is the slope of this line? ax minus 2by equals 1. Subtract ax from both sides. Negative 2by equals negative ax plus 1. And doing a similar thing here. These cancel. We have y on its own. Negative a divided by negative 2b. It makes it positive a over 2b. x. And then 1 over negative 2b is negative 1 over 2b. So, these need to be perpendicular. Therefore, we take the um, opposite reciprocal of this. So we take negative 10 over 7. We multiply it by negative 1. This gives us 10 over 7, which turns into 7 over 10. 7 over 10 needs to be equal to a over 2b. What is a over b, first of all? If b over a is negative 5 over 7, a over b is negative 7 over 5, right? By just flipping these, just like we flipped these. Therefore, a over 2b is 5 times 2 on the bottom is negative 7 over 10. Therefore, negative 7 over 10 and 7 over 10 do not match. So what we're going to have to do is try this again for b. Before I cover this up, just remember that the slope of this equation is negative 10 over 7. Okay? Negative 10 over 7 is the slope for this equation, and the same equation is used here for 10x plus 7y equals 1. 
Now let's find the slope of this equation. We have ax plus 2by is equal to 1. Again, all we have to do here, just like we've done a million times before, is get y all on its own. So divide by 2b. These cancel. y is equal to negative a over 2bx plus 1 over 2b. Okay, again, we need to pull something from our previous work. b over a is negative 5 over 7. cover that back up again and use this. So our slope is negative 10 over 7. The opposite reciprocal of that, multiply by negative 1, positive 10 over 7 and flip it, 7 over 10. We need this slope to be equal to 7 over 10. b over a is equal to negative 5 over 7. Therefore a over b is equal to negative 7 over 5. Therefore, a over 2b is negative 7 over 2 times 5, which is 10. Negative a over 2b is negative of this, which means it's positive 7 over 10. Positive 7 over 10 matches with positive 7 over 10. Therefore, the opposite reciprocal of the, slope with, of the line with this slope has this slope, which is what we're wanting. Therefore, these lines are perpendicular, and B is your final answer.